Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cloudmersive YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to replace a string from a text file with a new string value using the Cloudmersive file processing connector in Power Automate. This is a nifty Power Automate button to have, taking away the need to open text files and edit them directly to make minor changes. Let's get started. From the Power Automate homepage, click on Create to Begin, select Instant Cloud Flow, give your flow a relevant name, and then select Manually Trigger a Flow to ensure full control over your data. After that, click Create at the bottom and you'll jump to the Flow Design page. From here, click New Step and search for the action Get File Content in the Operation search bar. You should select the action which aligns with the application your file lives in. My file lives in SharePoint, so I'm using that action and specifying my site address. Once you're ready to add your file, click on the file icon to the right of the file identifier search bar and navigate through the folder path to find and select your file. It's time to click new step again, and this time type Cloudmersive into the operation search bar. From the list below, Select the Cloudmersive file processing connector with the purple logo. If you've never used this connector before, you'll be prompted to give your connection a name and supply your API key during this step. Mine is saved from past uses, so I've jumped straight to the action search bar. Once there, type replace into the search bar and select the first option from the list below. For the connector to work its magic, You'll first need to specify that the text content is coming from the file specified in the previous step. Click on the search bar and select the dynamic content option, File Content, to take care of that. Next, type in the target string you're looking to replace in your text file, and after that, type in the new string. Now that the connector action is prepared, you can complete the flow with one final step. Click New Step and type Create File into the Operation search bar, once again selecting the relevant application for your file. I'm using SharePoint again, so I'm specifying my site address first. After that, it's time to define the folder path, name, and content for the new file. Click on the folder icon to find the folder you want to use, and then give your file the same name as before, and finally, select the Text Content Result option from the Dynamic Search window to ensure the new file contains the text that you added. You've now completed the flow and can begin the saving and testing process. Click Save at the bottom of the page and then click Test in the upper right corner. Select the Manual Triggering option and then click Test at the bottom followed by Continue and Run Flow. After a few seconds, green check marks should appear in the corner of each operation of the flow to indicate everything worked smoothly. Any errors will be logged conveniently on the right-hand side of the page and are usually identified very quickly by Power Automate. To make sure it tested 100% correctly, head to your destination folder and look for your new file. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more Power Automate tutorials.